Now, uh, Hillary Clinton is back. Did you did you hear about this? Uh, she she is out of the woods and uh, she's now working on a new project. Are you not? I've heard. Super excited. I've I you know what I one thing I do have in common with Hillary Clinton is we both love to hike. Uh, we both enjoy mm. the joy of hiking, and I wish she would just enjoy hiking. Um, you know, ten hours a day, seven days a week. To the point where she really doesn't have time for anything else other than her grandchildren. That seems like a healthy life, a happy life. She doesn't need any money. Um, I, I wish I, I should really email her and tell her how awesome hiking is. Um, man, great. hiking's just so great, Hillary. You're not doing enough of it. You don't have time for you. You don't have time to hurt the left further. You you really got to hike. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. Hiking is. I mean, it's it's good, man. It's it. You got to get out there and get some get some exercise and. Uh, you know, prolongs the life. You know, it doesn't prolong clear your life. head a little Politics. bit. Think about things sure. like, like, I mean, you could think about yeah. whatever you want. Like, hey, maybe I should be accountable for uh, my own actions and not blame everybody else Possibly. around me, including other feminists. Whatever thoughts go through your head, I don't know what you'll think about. Introspection, I mean, really works wonders sometimes when you sit there and you you think about what you've done wrong and you think about the things that went wrong and you come to a conclusion like, hmm. Maybe maybe I need to change something. <laughs> maybe or no, go away. But that's maybe not I need what to she's go going away. to do. What she's not doing is is definitely not going away. She's she's jumping right back into the whole politics thing. Not necessarily running for anything, as far as we know. We can only hope that she stays away from that. Uh, but she has uh, she is now creating a group called Onward Together. You know, yeah. kind of like which is a message to Republicans. Together. <laughs> that's what. It's a message to Republicans. No, yes. So that's Onward together. At. Onward together. Well, and, and I, I forgot to get you uh, um, an image of the of the uh, what she's using as like a graphic for this. But again, it's another arrow going to the right. How symbolic. Yeah. yeah, and going towards her. And just like her campaign, she did the same thing the, the way she started her campaign. Uh, try to get as many donors on board as possible. Cater to the donors while having no platform and no ideas. It's uh, there's together. really no message behind her group, none whatsoever. Uh, but she uh, she started the only way she knows how to start. Let's try to get some dollars. Onward and, uh, together with the donors. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty mm -hmm. much. So now she describes this this organization, this group. Uh, as an organization dedicated to advancing the progressive vision, oh, I love this, that earned nearly 66 million votes in the last election, that progressive vision. So if you were talking, if she had a real progressive vision, then you would think that this group would be supporting Bernie Sanders' platform, which is an actual progressive platform, or, you know, was super progressive, a Jill Stein platform. Is that... Is that at all what this group is uh, looking forward to doing? Or is, is, is there, are they actually going to help do a progressive vision? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> well, I don't. Do we even know? Because, I mean, the do last we know? time I actually, checked, we do they know. have no platform. Actually, we, we, well, we know some of the groups that her uh, organization is, is going to back. See, um, mm -hmm. she says that Onward Together will work together to build a brighter future for generations to come by supporting groups then encourage people to organize and run for office. So that's her, her whole plan here. Uh, so let's go and get uh, these groups or these people to go run for office. So it kind of sounds like a lot of the groups we already have, like the Justice Democrats, like Brand New Congress, like uh, Our Revolution, groups like that that are backing and funding and, and, and trying to spur people to run for office on so-called progressive values. But... I, I don't really trust that uh, any of her, any of the candidates as this group's back, it, this group's back, uh, this group packs. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, very important to, skill to have when you're doing a talk show, uh, being able to talk. But anyway, I don't think that her group is going to back any actual progressives. I just have this nagging feeling that it's going to end up being more centrist establishment Democrats. Now, she could prove me wrong. The group could prove me wrong. And I would, I, that would, I would, that would be great. I would love that, but I don't really see that happening now. The groups that she's uh, mentioning specifically, something called Swing Left, never heard of that. Emerge America, never heard of that. Color of Change, I have, I believe I have heard of that. Uh, Indivisible and Run for Something. 
So these are the five so groups. So first of all, sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut mm -hmm. in, but there is one group I'm familiar with out of that group, and it's uh, it's um, Indivisible, which is um, not a progressive group at all. They invited Debbie Wasserman Schultz to speak. Now, some people in the audience did boo her. Um, so I think there's probably some progressives associated with that group that maybe don't know any better. But sure. it's another centrist front similar to what Hillary Clinton's doing. And and the other big concern here, you know, she's talking about backing candidates and stuff like that. This could be potentially um, kind of competition for justice Democrats as far as stifling that movement. Yeah. Um, so, so not only is this counterproductive, but this is already hurtful to the left. Yeah, this seems to be a, a front group for more establishment Democrats um, because, look, they're scared of primaries. Now, we know that. Mm -hmm. They're scared of being primaried from the left. And notice how she couches this whole movement in progressive language. Oh, we're, we're going to run progressives on this progressive vision. What progressive vision? Uh, I seem to recall a lack of progressive vision during this entire election season. So what mm -hmm. exactly is this progressive vision? Okay. I don't I don't see it. I don't see anything. This whole thing screams astroturf and big Absolutely. money. Absolutely. Yeah. Well that that's all she's done so far is try to raise big money. She's she's aligning herself with other similar packs that also have big money with no ideas. Um and it's another losing strategy. From I, I mean and, and let's not forget I mean she was pretty much handed the presidency on a silver platter. She had the most ideal primary one could ask for. The purpose of a primary is for candidates to debate, to figure out a platform, uh, and then the best candidate wins, you hope, uh, and then they think about what they went through in that primary, and they adjust themselves accordingly to make themselves an even, even stronger candidate for the base. Hillary Clinton was handed the biggest gift in that primary because her opponent inspired a revolution and mobilize people um, similar to the way Obama did in 08. Uh, and the thumb was on the scale for her, so she won anyway. Instead of kind of taking that vision and mobilizing it and using it to her advantage, maybe even asking the guy to be her VP pick, um, she did the opposite out of hubris, and she managed to lose to a circus clown. Um, and now she has the audacity to re-enter the political arena. I mean, it, it's just... It's sad at this point. It's self-serving. It's selfish. Uh, and if she ever runs for anything again, she is the most selfish person that I can think of in, in the world. And, and, and I, I know that's a really bold statement, yeah. but, but I think at this point it applies to her. I mean, look, it's a toss-up between her and Donald Trump at this point. But everything about this says, I'm just trying to stay relevant and... I'm going to continue to, to support establishment politicians because I believe my vision is better than yours. My vision of a status quo, of protecting the status quo. That's really the only vision that she had is let's keep everything the same. Let's make sure that big corporations continue to make money and we'll throw a bone to regular people here and there in like the form of the ACA and, you know, which is a right wing plan uh, stolen essentially from the Heritage Foundation, Mitt Romney. And we're going to keep doing that kind of stuff because corporations are awesome. Big money is awesome. And uh, so is, you know, corruption. We're fine with it. We want that big money. I want to continue to have my donors who invested heavily heavily in, in me in, in the, during the campaign, during the um, whole election season. Well, they're going to get some sort of payback. And the way that I'm going to pay them back by, is by supporting these groups to protect against a progressive insurgency. And that's to protect against groups like Brand New Congress and Justice Democrats, as you have pointed out. And that's what this whole thing is about. This is the establishment trying to paint itself as grassroots to fight off this, this insurgency that we're seeing within the Democratic Party. So Because they can't push back from just the establishment side. Because mm -hmm. it's incredibly unpopular at this point. So they have to go and they have to couch it in progressive terms and make it look like, make it appear to be a grassroots movement, which is anything that's connected to Hillary Clinton is by definition not grassroots. Yeah, yeah. Calling anything connected to Hillary Clinton grassroots is like calling Walmart a mom and pop store. Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, we are not 
Uh, we are not going onward together. Anything connected, as I said, to Hillary Clinton is just not, it's not progressive. And it certainly isn't um, a winning strategy. So I think she just would be better served going back in the woods, having a nice retirement and uh, enjoying, you know, her later years. Because look, after all, she's been a very successful politician. Yeah. Broke yeah, a totally. lot of glass ceilings. You've done enough. Time for you to move out of the way and make some room for some real progressives that are actually going to fix this country. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, like when people go on and on and like, oh, the, the Clinton hate is so blah, 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 blah. It's not about necessarily the individual. It's about what she is a part of and what she represents. This age of neoliberalism is just over. And the people that don't realize that, that are kind of just hanging on to their donor gravy train, they need to move out of the way. You know, that's all this is. And, and I know I did say, and, and I stand by it, that if she were to ever run for anything again, she, she's the most selfish person I can think of, because uh, I do believe that's true. Because if she were to entertain a 2020 run, that gives us eight years of Trump. That's what that gives us, Yeah. Uh, if she were to run in 2020. But, you know, it's beyond the individual. It's more the platform, or in this case, lack thereof, um, that this sect of the Democratic Party represents. It's over. It's over. And... You know, you need organizations like Justice Democrats and brand new Congress to, to kind of clean house. Um, I mean, I think in the long run, it's going to take a new party. I, I think the Democrats, I think the establishment money is going to sink the Titanic. Um, but we don't have the luxury of waiting that long. We need we need a short term approach, too, which means trying to primary these corporate Democrats out. Um, so now we have a group that's going to fight against that. And that is Hillary Clinton's group. That's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to get behind, uh, you know, Nancy Pelosi's being primary. Joe Manchin's yep. being primary. You can bet. Claire McCaskill's um, being primary. Yeah, and you can bet your salt that uh, Hillary Clinton's group is, is going to fight for these establishment candidates against mm -hmm. their opponents. Because those opponents are, are building some grassroots heat. They're getting some momentum. Justice Democrats are, uh, are starting to yell pretty loud. So is brand new Congress. Um, and they've got a lot of very bright, promising people that they're supporting. That, that I'd be happy to cast a vote for, that I'm sure you'd be happy to cast a right. vote for. Um, and I think a lot of people would be. Um, and, you know, the primaries are often are often sleepers, especially during, um, you know, during a midterm. So I, I think that they need some establishment fight back here, and now they got it in the form of this, uh, of this front, which is all this group is. Yeah. So, again, we are not going onward together. Uh, we're obviously going to be fighting against this group so just be warned I'm, we're just letting you know who these people are who's backing these people so if you see a you know a congressman that's being backed by one of these groups you at least know where this support and where this money is coming from and we're in the, we're in the business of knowledge man we're in the business of information so now you know hey everybody thanks for watching this video if you want to see more like this please hit the subscribe button below and if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.